on edge. Seeing the aftermath of the bombing, thinking about everyone who died. What I don't get is all the security walking around. What are they guarding an abandoned building for? Excellent point. Bagley, let's get this done. What am I looking for? Any kind of device or component that could still be emitting the signal. It seems to be coming from within the rubble. This is it. The signal is coming from this spider bot fragment. 
No indication yet who it belongs to. Not much left of it. Why would it be here? Difficult to say, but with an AR reconstruction, we may be able to see what happened to it and if it relates to the attack. Access data relays in the vicinity, and I can compile enough data to build the AR reconstruction. Uh, huh. Perfect, two more data relays to go. data relay and I'll have it. Take the audio from this stream and the video from these 36 and... Got it. Go back to where you found that spider bot and I'll show you the AR reconstruction from the night of the explosion. Acknowledged. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. You brought the payload? Fuck, think we'd go back to you? Don't trust the Kelly dog. Uh. Kelly? As in Clan Kelly? What would mobsters want to bomb the city? I think Kelly's with a supplier. And that makes this a handoff. Well, it was that woman they met with. You don't think she was from Zero Day? Well, don't just stand there. Keep looking. Bagley, can you see who was controlling the Spider-Bot? I've now fully decrypted the signal the Spider-Bot is broadcasting. And while I cannot identify a specific user, it is a call code used by the Metropolitan Police Service. So the police were here watching this. The reconstruction continues behind that rubble. Brilliant. Suppose I'll just quantum tunnel through all this. Quantum tunnel technology is at least 10 years away, but spider bots and drones are here today. You could try one of those if you don't feel like waiting. Not a bad idea. human eyeballs of yours at the van's cargo. Acknowledged. RD-36 
CX nitrogen and the exact same detonator system like the bombs that were planted at Parliament. Zero day. There, Louis. We've got all the delivery. So you were hired to supply all the targets? Oh, shut it. We're all on need to know. Zero Day somehow got multiple organizations involved. I see. That's certainly one way to pull off a massive coordinated attack while remaining anonymous. Zero Day needed manpower and resources, but they needed them at an arm's length. And it doesn't take the world's greatest AI detective to see that both Clan Kelly and Albion benefited in the aftermath. Unfortunately, this is the most we can get out of the AR reconstruction. But if we could find the mystery officer who was spying through the spider bot, maybe they could tell us more. our jobs. Tracing the Spiderbot serial number, it was assigned to New Scotland Yard three years ago. Perhaps more information about its user or its assignment will be available at the station. Something doesn't add up here. The cops were on the trail of the actual bombers, but nothing was announced to the public. The only way to know for sure is to investigate New Scotland Yard. I guess Albion has seized control of the station. And the entire police service. But don't worry, if you're not pleased with your privatized goon squad, just take your business across the street. I was never a fan of the cops, but this is so much worse. Not to worry, the only difference now is the uniform, assault weapons, and the fact they're motivated by profit over public service. Now, any record or information on the Spider-Bot will be further in.
Is that the same spider bot, Bagley? According to the serial numbers, this matches the piece of spider bot from the Tone bombing site. Can you tell who owned it? Navigate the spider bot from out of that room. I'll need a direct connection in order to learn more from our bisected friend. Copy that. like a good exit point. Right, get comfy. This spider bot might be broken and missing some of its legs, but it can still jump and fit through vents. That's a good way to get through the station undetected. That's a part of the remote detonator system from Parliament. If the Met, or Albion rather, actually analyzed it, they would see it wasn't dead sex handiwork at all. Junk! You'll have to jump your way across to get to the next vent opening.
decided they couldn't be trusted to do their jobs. Suddenly some corporation can clean up our streets better than the same police force we've had for who knows how long. When crime fighting is treated like a business, crime will never go away. Now that we've had a business fight, we know who's helping. Albion has our best interests at heart. If the police could handle their job, Albion wouldn't be necessary. But they can't. The tone bombing is down to the stumble. Lazy over the Make your way through this last fence path. Required. Scanning Spybot and accessing its internal drives. While I'm analyzing this data, you should make yourself scarce. Unless you'd like to explain to your new, heavily armed, privatized police force why you've broken into the station. Yeah, all right. you found has a satellite-based GPS module that regularly pushed its location to a specific ground station. Interesting. A secret location. We ought to check it out. Pushing you the ground station's coordinates. How do we get in? I'm detecting a surveillance network guarding a space under this bridge. If you can patch into it, perhaps you can take a look inside. The GPS history of the spider bot we recovered regularly pings these coordinates. Our mystery witness to the real bombers must have come to this lovely, damp location several times. No one would come here accidentally, that's for sure. The perfect place to plan a terrorist attack. Or to discreetly dump a body into the Thames. Promising. Looks like a rogue cop set up shop down here. Well, if Albion was stopping all over your workplace, you'd find a different place to store your lunch too. And it seems our mystery officer was dedicated. I wonder what led them to the tone bombing. 
The computer's dusty enough to kill an asthmatic, but there may still be something useful on it. This is Inspector Caitlin Lau. Well, former inspector now, since Albion's crew. The Met is no more. The police brass had already buried the evidence anyway. Everything implicating Albion and Clan Kelly in the bombings. But I know Mary Kelly's band of twats were involved. And they're involved in other crimes we can look into. Me and a few good mates are willing to go off book. Going after Mary Kelly again. I'll never fucking learn, will I? Inspector Caitlin Lau, video log. Clan Kelly and Albion are teamed up on some deal. I don't have all the details, but it looks to be human trafficking. The European Processing Center is the Albion angle. Since the bombings, they can grab anyone off the street. Call them illegal immigrants, potential dead sick insurgents, whatever. Though we know who the real danger is. So, Clan Kelly gets hold of these people, these... Immigrants, deportees, victims, really, and they're taking them somewhere. But where and why? <laughs> it all comes back to the boss lady herself. I knew she was into something, but she wriggled off the hook. There's only one way I can do this. 24-7 surveillance on Mary Kelly. If I'm caught, well, this will be my last entry. But I have to see what she's hiding. So, our mystery officer was Inspector Caitlin Lau. It sounds like Mary Kelly was her white whale, and her investigation led her to the bombings. Sir? Albion was working with Clan Kelly gangsters. I can't even say I'm surprised. It seems like Zero Day's web covers all of the unsavory bits of London. Tug on a thread, and it leads back to them. Clan Kelly and Albion included. We need to th Inspector Lau mentioned Albion is running their part of the operation out of the EPC. Detectives like... Like us, call that a lead. 